Yeah, the breaking news that we're following a partial building collapse in Manhattan. This is the second collapse in the city in just the last two months. CBS 2's investigative reporter Tim McNicholas live now from the scene in Little Italy. And Tim, what do we know so far? Maurice and Christine, you could see the hole in the wall where the facade collapsed. It actually knocked over part of the construction fence here. The FDNY says its K-9 unit just completed a search of the building and no one is trapped in there. This happened at the corner of Grand Street and Mulberry. There are several businesses nearby, but investigators say no one has reported any injuries. And the building is actually where the Oliva Dairy Shop stood. It was known as one of the oldest cheese shops in the country until it closed last March. We do know there has been some construction happening here. The permit for this construction fence, for example, was issued last October. We don't know if that construction had anything to do with the collapse. One person working in the neighborhood just told me that he's concerned about the, the strength of the city's aging buildings after this and that building collapse in the Bronx, the partial collapse that we covered last month, and of course that deadly parking garage parking garage collapse on Ann Street last spring. The city now investigating what caused this and, and what happened here. For now, live in Little Italy, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Okay, Tim, thank you.